What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I just want to come here and just talk about the procedure and answer some questions that I saw on the previous video that I did regarding the procedures that I had done just to clear the air and to give some more insight to people on if they should even consider these procedures or not. So by the end of this video, I will give out information regarding the pricing, if I think it was worth it for each procedure, and I will share the doctor's name since so many people asked me for his name and location. So stick around towards the end or in the middle, I will mention all these things. So first of all, let's talk about the first procedure that I done. So I had the laser, uh, the CO2 laser resurfacing done. And for me, I would not recommend CO2 laser resurfacing to anyone that has deep pitted or depressed scars. It probably works for a more shallow scar or for a scar that is not as old. Like remember, my scar happened when I was like three or four years old. So the scar is at least 24 years old. So if it's a new scar, it could probably work on it. But for a deep um, depressed scar like mine, it didn't do anything for me more than discolor the area that the scar is in. So right now I have a lot of discoloration in that area, which you can probably see right now as we're speaking in this video. So regarding the laser, would I recommend it? No. And I wouldn't recommend it because of the things that I just mentioned before. So for me, that 1,200 or 1,300, I can't remember the exact amount that I spent to get those three sessions. I feel like it kind of was a waste of money, but that was just my, um, I guess, error for just trying something because I thought it would work and it was sold to me in a way that it would work. So that's why I'm putting this out there so that if you watch this video, you won't go and waste your money to do that as well. So $1,200, $1,300 is kind of down the drain for me. I can't cry over spilled milk at this point, but then let's get into the actual scar removal surgery. So I actually found this doctor on YouTube. I was looking around because I'm a visual kind of person. I was looking around for doctors, how their work looked and like, you know, how the full procedure um, will go the day of the visit, the days before the visit. And Dr. Jinjua was able to like put all of that out there on YouTube, which really compelled me to give him a visit. Do I regret doing that surgery? Absolutely not. Did that surgery fix my problems completely? Absolutely not. Sitting here, this is my skin post surgery one month later, and you can still see kind of a depression or kind of an imprint of the scar still being there. But the doctor did mention to me that the scar wouldn't completely go away. Um, of course, it wouldn't completely go away. It would make the scar look smaller. And also it's only been one month. You will truly see these results six months to a year. And by then I can talk about how I really feel about the scar. But for now, I am really happy that I got the procedure done. I feel much more confident in my face. When I wear makeup, like I don't have this big like, like gut, not a gut, like a big like gutted mark in my face. I totally hated it. So I am glad I did it and I would do it again, as my mom would say. <laughs> so regarding money spent on that, I feel like it was money well spent. I wish I went to the plastic surgeon first before I went to do the CO2 laser resurfacing. So. I'm gonna go through and answer a few questions that I had on the YouTube video. First of all, I wanna say that I got a lot of encouraging comments on this video and I really appreciated it because it was a very vulnerable moment for me and to see the community supporting me in that way, I really did appreciate it. For example, someone named Claudette Salmon said, do you baby girl, whatever makes you happy, whatever makes you feel great and confident, do it. So I appreciate that. Someone else said, Okay, her name is Foxy D. Lau. She said, you did the right thing for you. I am pleased to know that you are satisfied. I have two scars in my face and I would like to get the right doctor, but I have concerns. Absolutely, like I said, I made mistakes in the first part of this, this whole um, hunting process. So getting the right doctor is key for sure. Great job, what's the name of the doctor who worked on your scars? Right, so there was other comments like, you're supposed to do what's gonna make you happy. Uh, do it for yourself, not for anybody else. Congratulations. That was from Patricia McMillan. 
and like I said I appreciate the positive comments I really do because this was something that was very hard for me to talk about um, but anyways there was a lot of comments with people asking for the name of the doctor so this doctor I actually found him on YouTube and he's just amazing he is a ball of sunshine great energy and he takes his work very 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 seriously and I, I used to work in the medical field I used to work in the lab so um, sterility and just being clean in general is really important to me and that doctor he's completely sterile like he's a sterile person you you would be completely in good hands if you choose to um, go to this doctor I highly highly recommend it and this is not even sponsored he doesn't even know that I'm doing this but do mention me if you do go to him tell him that oh I found out about you on Avrina's channel and I'm sure he'll be pleasantly surprised so his name is Dr. Jinjua he is located in New Jersey and I'll leave all the details up here on the screen I'll leave even his phone number you can reach out to him for a consultation another reason why I went to this doctor was because his consultation was free and he was fairly a reasonable distance away from where we were living also he has great reviews on his website and this doctor is kind of like a celebrity doctor he's been on the Montel Jordan show he's been on different morning shows before the guy knows what he's doing that's all I can say so go ahead check out Jinjua book a consultation you don't even have to go through with the surgery just go see what he would say if he can help you and someone did ask about the scar that's on the upper portion of my forehead which is up here um, me and him did discuss that and he said that there's not much that he can do for that one because he feel like it would not um, give as great results as this one because this one was deeper it was in a, a better area for the surgery so um, we went and did the lower scar instead of the upper scar based on how the lower scar reacts then we can go back and revisit the upper scar so someone also mentioned that they did not see a before and after picture of how the scar came out um, I don't know why I didn't put that in there but I thought since you were seeing my face on the camera now you could just assume that this is what my face looks like now versus what my face was looking like with the scars on them but here is a little transition of how it went from the day the day of the surgery to like the recovery period and this is what my scar looks like now so certain things that I used for my scar to like come back to the way it is I started doing research I prefer very natural remedies I started putting manuka honey on my scar and it really did, did help my scar a lot I still put it on there as well and I have to massage the scar I have to put vitamin E oil I had to do so much preparation in order to get the surgery done I started taking vitamin C and D as recommended by the doctor because those vitamins really help with absorption and helps for your skin to replenish itself so yeah it's a lot it's not an easy process and it is kind of painful when the meds wear off I looked crazy I was swollen but now I'm looking great I'm looking fab so would I do it again absolutely and am I gonna do the top one maybe but we'll see how the bottom one goes um, regarding the armpits I also wanted to address that so I had the mirror dry procedure and it was kind of pricey um, but I think it was worth it in the end there are obviously other things that you can do other than mirror dry uh, that are less expensive there are things that are covered by insurance like Botox I've gotten that before it didn't really work for me there is these wipes called Cubrexa uh, there are pills that you can take like there is a lot that you can do before that option so explore all the options but that one was just the right one for me at the time so when I spoke to the doctor he told me that like most patients do not have to get this twice but I told him I might be the patient but that might need to get this procedure twice so my sweating has reduced significantly but I still sweat a lot I don't know what's wrong with me man Glenn and Georgia I don't know what you guys made <laughs> so I'm considering maybe if I don't like get it under control elsewhere I could probably do the procedure again and it's obviously for a lesser value this time which means I don't have to pay as much this time um, so that's that if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me here on YouTube um, also on Instagram 
I'm there, I'll answer your questions because I feel like when I was doing the research to get these procedures done, I didn't have anybody that I could ask and the information that I was finding was kind of overwhelming and I did not want to waste money as I did. So I'd like to provide help for you if you're looking for help. Anyways guys, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.